Our chief guest, Srimadhi Maya Vimayan, former principal coach in Divine School Divine has arrived and is being escorted to the auditorium by our principal Srimadhi Parvati P. They are accompanied by our vice principal Srimadhi Indrani Haridasan, assistant vice principal Srimadhi Jujita Viji, teacher in charge of Governance Balanandar Srimadhi C. Manju Radhishekhan, private school coordinator Srimadhi Ambri V, ward counselor Srimadhi Sabita Jaya, and parent representative standard one, Dr. Abhinaya S. Let's all welcome our chief guest and other dignitaries with a loud round of applause. I request all the dignitaries to kindly take their seats in front of the stage. Most honorable chief guest, 
Shrimati Mala Premanen, distinguished dignitaries, our most valued parents, well wishers, teachers, and all our beloved children. Namaste. A hearty welcome to each one of you to the 35th annual day celebration of Bhavan Sidhyamandri Eru. The most captivating elements of life are in tied to wealth. Rather, they revolve around memories and moments. If you fail to acknowledge and celebrate them, they may slip away unnoticed. These experiences truly enrich our lives. Today, we start on the threshold of a beautiful day to cherish yet another year of academic and extracurricular achievements. As we celebrate the 35th annual day for school, we are elated and we take pride in our achievements and the diversity of talents that make our school unique. May the dawn of self-realization dispel the darkness of ignorance. Let's commence today's proceedings with the lighting of the ceremonial lamp. I request our chief guest and esteemed dignitaries to light the lamp. I invite the school choir to render the prayer and request everyone to be seated for the same. Namaste and a pleasant morning to one and all present here. Respected Chief Guest of the Day, Shri Mala Bhimene, former principal, Kochit Refinery School, Thiruvani, other dignitaries, parents, teachers, and students. 
The annual day is an opportune moment for introspection, reflecting on the journey that has brought us to this point. A journey characterized by the steadfast commitment, dedication and resolute spirit of our students as well as the teaching and non-teaching staff for attaining excellence in both academic and extracurricular endeavors. Without further delay, let me move on to the duty entrusted upon me. It is indeed an honor to extend a warm welcome to this esteemed assembly on this significant day in our school's annual schedule. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome to our midst today's chief guest, Sri Maribala Bhimenen, former principal, Kuchin Refinery School, Thiruvanur. With a career that spans several decades and distinguished a distinguished path in the realm of education, Sri Maribala Bhimenen possesses a proven track record of elevating student achievement and fostering a positive school culture. Malana, a highly regarded educator, embarked on her educational journey in 1985. Her unwavering dedication to shaping young minds transpired within the sacred halls of Chinmaya Vidyalaya and extended to Sharjah Public School and SRWS High School in Mumbai. These early experiences laid the groundwork for a distinguished career that would significantly impact the lives of numerous students. In 1995, Malaman joined Bhavach Vidyamandra Eru as a teacher and later she assumed the position of the head of the Department of English and played an integral role as a member of the examination committee. Transitioning into the subsequent phase of her illustrious career, Srimadhi Malabhi Menon ascended to the Vice Principal's Chair in our own institution in 2007. In this capacity, Malana not only oversaw the day-to-day -day operations but also served as the head examiner of four English, showcasing her expertise in both academic and administrative roles. From July 2011 to April 2023, Malana assumed the role of principal at Kuchin Refinery School with grace and dedication, leaving an indelible mark on the institution. Her expertise further extended to being a CBSC subject expert and resource person enriching the academic environment. In addition to her professional commitments, Ma'am dedicated her time to volunteer work leading CSR initiatives at Kochi's Refinery School. She is spearheaded efforts in fund generation for house construction, medical revenue generation for the needy, and a campaign advocating say no to drugs. Her commitment to excellence is evident through the Maharashtra State Government Best Teaching Aid Award she received in 1993. Acknowledging her outstanding accomplishment of securing more than 50% A1s in Standard 12 SSE throughout her tenure as the principal in CRS, she was also honored with the Excellence Award in English presented by the Cochin Refineries School Education Aid Society. Regarding her skill, Malana is not only a proficient communicator but also a highly adaptable individual. Her ability to seamlessly work as a team player while also assuming leadership roles in various capacities combined with her expertise in training and development establishes her as a valuable asset to any educational institution. Ma'am, we are honored to have you as the chief guest on our annual day. On behalf of everyone gathered here, I extend a hearty welcome to you, ma'am, to this August gathering. In the presence of a leader whose actions serve as an inspiration for us to dream beyond, learn endlessly, enter the more and evolve into better versions of ourselves, we find a true guiding light. We consider ourselves blessed to be under the dynamic leadership of our principal, Srimadhi Parvati E. Ma'am, your incomparable dedication, remarkable patience and unwavering faith in each one of us serve as a constant source of motivation, compelling us to attain nothing but excellence. On behalf of all assembled here, 
I extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to you, ma'am. It is with great pleasure that I extend a warm and cordial welcome to Srimadhi Savita Jain, War Counselor, a distinguished presence with a keen interest in fostering collaboration with our school. Welcome, ma'am, for gracing this occasion with your esteemed presence. Now it's my turn to extend a gracious welcome to our Vice Principal Srimadhi Prani Hadidasan. Ma'am, your commitment combined with your enthusiasm is a genuine inspiration for all of us. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> Sri Madhi C. Manju Rajeshagaran, teacher in charge, kindergarten, emanates inspiration through her boundless care and guidance. Her affection and warmth towards children is truly praiseworthy. On behalf of all assembled here, I welcome you, ma'am. Let me take this opportunity to extend my warmest greetings to Jijida, ma'am, our assistant vice principal, who is the best model of diligence and determination. Welcome, ma'am. No one can whistle a symphony. It takes a whole orchestra to play it. Our PTA proves this point through their timely guidance and support. Our gratitude towards our PTA is perpetual and it is with great honor that I extend a warm welcome to Dr. Abhinaya S., the parent representative of Standard 1. Welcome, ma'am. A resplendent welcome to the esteemed parents who constantly leave a lasting impression with their unwavering support and enthusiasm in every endeavor we undertake. Dear parents, we treasure your love and concern towards our institution. We feel deeply cherished to offer a pleasant welcome to each one of you. I would like to welcome all the invited guests, teaching and non-teaching staff who are an integral part of this institution. We put our hearts together to welcome our dear children the invaluable gems of our school and the very nucleus of this splendid occasion. You are the true performers, infusing vibrant hues into the canvas of our event. With immense joy, we welcome each and every one of you to this enchanting gathering. Once again, I welcome one and all. Let this be a memorable and marvelous day, leaving in everyone's heart an indelible mark. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for the gracious words of welcome. The endeavors of the school reflect the aspirations and capabilities of both its faculty and student body. Now, let's revisit the accomplishments of the year to inspire and improve ourselves to another, for another successful and rewarding year ahead. May I invite Srimadhi C. Manju Ravishetharet, teacher in charge of Bhavan's Balamandir Nehru, to present the annual report. That is, an overview of the vibrant activities of the tiny dots of the kindergarten. Ma'am, please. Our distinguished chief guest of the day, Sri Madhibana Mala Devine, former principal for Chitra Primary School, Municipal Councillor Sri Madhi Sabita Jain, PTA Representative Dr. Vinaya S, Principal Sri Madhi Parvati, Vice Principal Sri Madhi Ibrahim Haridasi, Assistant Vice Principal Sri Madhi Jujidaji, VG, dear parents, teachers, students, well wishes. Namaste. It's my proud privilege to present before you your annual report of Bhavan's Balamandir Nehru for the year 2023-24. The academic year of Bhavan's Balamandir commenced for LKG and UKG on 7th June and PKG on 8th June 2023. 
the teacher in charge interacted with the parents regarding their academics and other activities before the commencement of the classes. Our Bala Mandal consists of three divisions of pre kg five divisions each for a kg and a kg. Classes with a strength of 376 students under the constant care of 22 teaching staff and seven non-teaching staffs. Teachers follow the curriculum that ensures their all-round development. Our curriculum is in line with new national education policy 2020, which is flexible, multi-level, play-based. Importance is given to recognizing, identifying, fostering the unique capabilities of each student thereby attaining holistic development in both academic and non-academic spheres. pre kg being the first experience for many children in a structured setting helps to foster a positive association with learning. Focus is given to developing life skills such as communication, cooperation, teamwork and resilience. Children are prepared to meet the diverse and national and global challenges of the present and the future. Our school begins with a prayer where all students and teachers participate. Following the prayer, we have a Gita chanting, exercise, group song session and national anthem. Students are encouraged to give short speeches in the assembly to enhance their confidence and communication skills. In our school, more importance is given to oral work than the written work. We focus on oral work where we bring in multilingual rhymes, language, numbers, counting, puzzles, games to develop logical thinking, drawing, painting, arts and crafts, puppetry, music and movement. Special attention is given to the students who have difficulties coping with a normal class. Resources and facilities are available for the students who need support. There is no formal examination. Promotion to the higher classes is based on the overall performance of the child throughout the academic year. We celebrate Ramayana Week, World Environment Day, Independence Day, Owner, Navaratri, Diwali, Guru Purnima, Teacher's Day, International Yoga Day, Children's Day, and Christmas to name a few. Our Tiny Talks presented a program, Nopuru Dwini, during Navratri, and was appreciated by all. We initiated Vidya Ramba, the traditional ceremony that marks the initiation of young minds into the world of knowledge, learning, and wisdom. Our principal, Srimati Parvati, introduce the tiny talks into the world of letters. Children's Day was celebrated with much enthusiasm. Our Children's Day stands unique as UKG children conducted the formal meeting. All students performed on stage and books were distributed as gifts. A fun film and lively magic show was conducted for the kids which had a desired impact on the students. Sports is an integral part of education of a child. We have any sports which focuses on improving the health and fitness of children, improving their concentration level, improving the social and economic concern, social emotional skills. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, in collaboration with Sports Village, conducted Urja 2023. An inter-school kids from Dharma, which was well received and supported by the parent community, of Tiruvakula and an active participation from all schools, we hope to conduct events of this magnitude and grandeur in future too. Kids Olympics inter-school inter competition will be conducted in association with Edu Sports on Saturday, February 3, 2024. After each term, parent-teacher interactions are conducted and report cards are distributed. The convocation ceremony of the UKG students will be held in March. As part of incorporating technology in the early years of learning, 
teachers make use of interactive boards to inculcate and enhance the learning process. Faculty improvement programs, both online and offline, were attended by our teachers. To name a few, toy making and stone selling by our teachers there with it, creative leaf craft by artist moons, the motivational talk, Good to Better to Best, was conducted by Mr. Suraj Abraham. The basic tenets of approach to early learning by Geo and Media. Aligning preschools with NCF by Pritam Kumar. Foundation of Early Education Child, Childhood Care and Education by Srimati Surita S. Academic Supervisor, Bhartya Vidya Bhavan Kuchi. Webinar by Collison Playing with Birds, NCF 2023, which was led by Mr. Safa Abdul Raza. ECE New New Zealand Workshop by Mark Teaser. Enhancing Learning in Young Children Post Pandemic at Alamein Public School Elementary. Teachers attended the workshop Mela at the Gyodhya School Kerrigan. Individual Achievements Girinathan of UKGB has won the first prize in the Man at Disney Fringes 2023, Arcade World of Hollywood, a competition organized by Choice School to Contra. Our school actively participated in inter-school cultural and art competitions connected by various schools across the city. We had a bunch of children who had showcased their talents and skills, representing our school with enthusiasm and dedication. Many of them brought back laurels across different categories. On the whole, the journey was fruitful, a year of satisfaction and achievements for our school. Let me take this opportunity to thank Chairman Sir C. Benbowal Singh Gobal, Director Sir E. Ramakuti, Principal Parvati Man, Vice Principal Rani Haridasan, my Associate Vice Principal Jijita Man, and other members of the management of Bharatiya Vidya Bharam for their wholehearted support and engagement in all our activities. We also place on record a sincere gratitude to our dear parents for their constant support. Sincere thanks to the teaching and non-teaching staff for achieving this milestone. Let us hold hands together in the innovative approach and lead our kids to the path of success and make schooling a memorable one. I thank the Almighty for the blessings. Once again, I thank you all. Thank you, Majuma. May I now invite Shivadi Indrani Haridasan, Vice Principal Bhavan Sidhyamandir Eru, to present the annual report. This presentation will update you on how the mission and vision of Bhavan have been realized through the day to day activities of the school. Esteemed Chief Guest of the Day, Shimadi Malavi Maravi Ma'am, former Principal of Kuchin Primary School, Shimadi Sabada Jain, Counselor to Kuntra Principality, Shimadi Parvati E. Principal Devi Mayu, members of the Management Committee, Shimadi Jijida Vijay, Assistant Vice Principal, Shimadi Manju C. Rajeshagan, Teacher in Charge, Bowens Baranagar Ayu, Shimadi Ambili D. Coordinator Primary, Shimadi Pinky Ramesh, President PTA, Shimadi Abhinaya as parent representative of Standard 1, parents and well wishers, staff and students. Namaste and good morning. Today we have assembled to journey through the defining moments that have sculpted our path. Like an overture before the symphony, our annual report unveils triumphs, challenges, and shared victories from the past year. Let's level in the symphony we have co created, cherishing the collaborative essence in every triumph. It is with immense pride and pleasure that I present before you the annual report of Bhagavan Sri Mandir Edu for the year 2023 24. Academics, no student ever attains very evident success by simply doing what is required of him. It is the amount of excellence of what is 
over and above the required by the terms of readiness of ultimate description. The 22nd batch of standard 12 students achieved 100 percentage result in SSE 2023. Malavika B. excelled in the science stream with 97 percentage. Neeraja Chandra Mohan taught the commerce stream with 97.8. Out of the 143 students, 130 received distinction, 13 got first class and 24 achieved A1 in all subjects. Noteworthy hundred scorers include Anjana P and K. Indriyana Menon in business studies, Neeraja Chandra Mohan in economics and Varun V in computer science. In SSC 2023, the standard 10 students achieved 100% result led by Mitra Govalakshman with 99.4 in four subjects. Out of the 159 students, 143 received distinction, 16 earned first class, and 21 achieved A1 in all subjects. Top scorers in various subjects include Mitra Govalanshan in English and Malayalam, Shreddha Suresh in English, Meenakshi B in Sanskrit, and Krishna Sri K in Social Science. Additionally, 53 students scored a perfect 100 in artificial intelligence. This year, we have 136 students of standard 12 and 146 students of standard 10 appearing for the SSCE and SSE respectively. We bestow them our blessings and heartfelt good wishes. Currently, our school has 2,430 students, including kindergarten. The institution comprises 127 community teaching staff and 34 non-teaching staff contributing to our success. The school council led by senior head boy Abhinav Aspai and senior head girl Krishna Priya J alongside junior head boy Aditya Ramakrishnan and junior head girl Gikai Prashanandan who oversees various responsibilities. Elna Elizabeth Praveen serves as a senior sports captain and Tanmay Vinayar as its junior sports captain. Siddha Anur Menon and Rudhya Prati take on the roles of head boy and head girl for the primary section. Post-scholastic activities. I am delighted to share that our students have not only excelled academically but have also garnered accolades in the realms of art, culture and sports, filling my heart with pride and joy. Amulya Thomas, Devananda, Anisha Standard 9 and Nandana Ranjit of Standard 12 participated in the Gemma International Story Writing Competition and earned the title of Promising Young Author. Rian Davis of Standard 7 and Rian Schneider of 9 achieved first place in the Future Tech Columbia at the national level organized by IBM in collaboration with CPSC. Nakshatra Menon of Standard 8 achieved gold medals in the National Indo Martial Arts Games Series 1 and 15th All Kerala Kurash Championship 2023, earning the Best Player Award for the consecutive, second consecutive year. Shreya Saju of Class 8 received recognition in the ATL Marathon 2022 23 for her project Loco, Locom V, a low cost medical ventilator which was featured in the top end race in the national level. Gayatri Rupesh of Standard 10, Janet John and Mitra Bogalakshman of Standard 11 were, were recognized as the best performers in the TLRA Sakshin National Level and the State Level Essay Painting and Quiz Competition respectively. Mitra Bogalakshman has also received the Certificate of Achievement for the Excellence in Essay Writing Competition. In the 26th All Kerala Barnes Cultural Fest, our school bagged the championship trophy in Category 4 and also emerged as the first runner-up in Category 2, 3 and overall category winners in 1 to 4. Varsha Varma P.K. of Standard 12 and Jagatna B. of Standard 8 excelled in the All Kerala CBC Colossal securing first prize in Grade A in Carnatic Music and Rudanga respectively. Varsha Varma P.K. also received the first prize in Carnatic Music in Alangam District Air Bolsa. Madhavas Manohar of Standard 6 secured the gold medal in the Sub-Junior Kursi competition in the 19 Kerala District Kiddies and Sub-Junior Level Taekwondo competition. Yohan John received the India Book of Records 2024 Achiever Award for identifying the flags and recalling the names of 195 UN recognized countries in 7 minutes and 17 seconds at the age of 7 years and 7 months. In the 31st National Children's Science Congress, Ishani B. Karan of Standard 10 and Priyan Shnaya of Standard 9 secured the second position in the district level competition with their project on an innovative cleaning system. In Shastra 2023-24 Children's Science Congress, our school claims the ever rolling trophy in general science. Devang Bijoy and J. Agnivesh of Standard 8 received the Louis Pasteur Award for the best paper in general science. 
Marvelous Manoeuvre of Six won the Srinivasan Matra Management Award for the second best paper in mathematics. Juan Anthony Panekar of Standard 7 secured the Isaac Newton Award for the second best paper in general science and Vidai Kishan Nandanwar of Standard 10 or the Charles Robert Darwin Award for the second best paper in biology. Parvati Manor of Standard 9 received the best delegate award in the G20 and UN 2023 for representing Indonesia in the Indo-Pakistan Special Summit. Priyanka Rajan of Standard 7 won the first prize in 112 category in the Kerala State Indian School Chess Championship 2023. Pranam Menon and Siddha Vijay Prabhu of Standard 7 secured the third prize in the Kripya Tava Max Quiz in the Ganit Reserve Competition. Nandana Vikshan of Standard 12 received an award for the best painting in the secondary category by Y.I. Kochi Chapter and the school was recognized as the best school in the Reduce, Reuse, Recycle Initiative. S.R. Bhagishri of Standard 9 won the second prize in the Gita, sorry, Bhagavad Gita Parayanam and Akshara Slogan Competition, while Abhirami Murugan of Standard 9 secured the second prize in the Akshara Slogan Competition in the Sanskrit Test 2023. Ambika R. Standard 4 claims the third prize in the All Kerala Inter School Bhagavad Gita Recitation Competition organized by Bhavan Trishu Kendra in the Bhagavad Gita Parayanam Competition. Adya Ramaswamy of Standard 3 secured the second prize in the Sub Junior category and Patna Pirta K. R. Standard 2 won the second prize in Navadanya, a painting competition using grades and blues organized by the Chinya International Foundation Crow. Patika Sanu Standard 12 won the third prize in the Play Modern Competition at the Kerala District Airway Zone. Adit Krishna of Standard 4 achieved the third position in the State Kerala Bacchus exam organized by B. Smart Bacchus and Nandan and Dalina Jami of Standard 5 wins the first prize in the Brain O'Brien International Competition and also secured a second prize in the Brain O'Brien Regional Competition. Nava S. of Standard 1 received the gold medal for achieving a perfect score in the Bacchus Level 1. Dia Deepak Shanar of Standard 5 received the Best Student Farmer Award presented by Kishi Bhavan Kukunukra. Ryan Binoy, Ryan Binoy of Standard, 12, Standard 2 clinched top honors in Education Malayalam and secured the third prize in the group from at the Ernanam District Bala Kalutso. Rishiri Pandur of Standard 3 demonstrated outstanding skills in inline speed skating, securing gold medal in the 1000 meter event and a bronze medal in the 500 meter sprint at the Ernanam District Roller Skating Competition 2023 hosted by RSC Ernanam. He has also secured a bronze medal in skating competition organized by the All Kerala Roller Skating Competition in Palakkad. Siddharthi Hegden of Standard 1 claims the third prize in the 200 meter race and second prize in the 500 meter race at the Ernanam District Roller Skating Championship hosted by RSC Ernanam. Kalyani KS of Standard 3 secured the second prize in the Ernanam District Gymnastics Championship organized by RSC Ernanam. Alantrika Men of Standard 3 showcased their skills at the All Kerala Roller Skating Championship earning the gold medal in the gold race event organized by RSC Ernanam. She clinched the gold medal in a one lap gold race and a bronze medal in the 200 meter ring race at the All Kerala State Roller Skating Championship. Vaika MS of Standard 5 achieved the second prize in the individual cut up category at the 11th Sokhi Mahuni Kerala Cup and Vaishnavi PS of Standard 3 achieved the silver medal in the girls cut up competition in the Ananda District Karate Association tournament. Aditya Pandal of Standard 4 earned the gold medal for completing the 500 km. Kochi Spice Coast Marathon, conducted by AG's Federal Insurance. Vihan Jinesh of Standard 3 emerged victorious, securing the first prize in the running competition organized by Expressions Media. It was also honored as the first runner in the print contest by Expressions Media. The sport is held in various tournaments. The overall first runner trophy in the 18th competition started with the Memorial Shuttle Battle Tournament at SEC Yamitator. Our school has also emerged as the first runner in the 39th Dr. K. Munshi Memorial in the school at Lake May, held at the BAV Kakuna. Srimati Minias Nair, head of the Department of Mathematics, received the Kala Sahaja Award for Mohini Adhan, dedicated to Kala Mandarin Missionary Week Award. Her other book, Gobi Asha and Mandarma Artemar, a study of imaginative presentations in Kathakali, earned recognition, and she also received the Ayuru Raman Pile Award for Kathakali Sahajan from Patnam Pitta District Kathakali Club. Srimadhi Maya Mohan, our department of Hindi, was honored for the translation of the Hindi poem Janathan by Acharya Ratnam Pandit Narayana Dev into Malayalam. 
in sports, Srimadhi Sapna Kaur, Department of Physical Education, gained first prize in the 100 meter race and second prize in the long jump at the Hall Theatre, State Masters Prize Money Medium Kalashiri, winning a cash award of rupees 2000. She secured first prize in the 100 meter race at the Kelo India Masters State Meet at Perkay Stadium to show. She has also secured the first portion in the 100 meters in long jump in the second Kelo India Women's Athletic League Competition 2023 at MA College. For the moment. She made the Sylvie Lucas Counselor achieve the postgraduate degree in psychology with distinction. Mr. Shibhi Shapo and his team emerged runner up in the Kutra Legend Senior Premier Award and won the cash prize of the Peace of 3000. Culture. Shitara Ardas of Standard 9 achieved distinction for the scintillating book Kula Goko Commons by winning the Lulu Little Star event at Lulu Hall Editor with a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh. Anushka Girish of Standard 9 won the first prize in special mention in the Hindi Divas Challenge organized by Inca. Vidyaram Swami of Standard 9 secured the third prize in the Sanskrit recitation held in connection with Shastra Sadhas 2020. In the Naga Nurjali India School Competition, Varsha Varma and Abhinav Espai at Standard 12 received the first and second prizes respectively in the Rajan category. They have also claimed the first portion in the Carnatic Music. Shivram Sandeep of Standard 6 secured the first prize in vocal in Vidyamdam Jadina Gri of Standard 8 to form the first prize. In the Insignia Inter School Culture Fest 2023, our school won the first runner of trophy. Our school our school team clinched the third prize for the dance competition in the Suvarna Chaitanya competition. Nandana Olekrishnan and Devanandana P.D. of Standard 12 received the second prize in the Tabla in the school festival. In the Indus School Dance Festival, Magnum Opus, our school secured the first portion and the prestigious ever rolling champions trophy. Anandya Padra Anandam of Standard 10 secured the second prize in the music competition, Chitra Jeevan 2023, conducted by the Lenin Music Group. In the Chandra Cultural Center of Independence Day celebration, our, school, our students secured the first prize in the Patriotic Song Competition, third prize in the National Anthem Competition, and second prize in the Patriotic Song Competition. Quiz. In the Pretty 2023, B. Nitish and Nidhu Krishnamara of Standard 10 claimed the first prize in the Alpha Group Quiz Competition, and Pranav T. and John K. Albert of Standard 4 secured the second prize in Symbolist National Aids. In Vox Lankya quiz competition, Uma Manju and Priyansh Nair Standard 9 achieved the third prize. Now the activities of Atul Kingrinda. As part of the ATL Community, Community Initiative, 25 students from SDKY Gurukul Vyalaya visited the Atul Kingrinda where they received sessions in ordering of sensors and tools. Alan Abraham Biju, Joseph Felix Philip, Shantaru S. and Javin Jainesh of Standard 9 achieved the second prize in the national level Challenge 13 at IOP Club. Juan Anthony Panikil of Standard 7, Madhu S. Anohan and Deva Shunanin of Standard 4, 6 secured the first prize in the Plan for Sustainability event. In Pradiksha 2023, P. Vishnu and Abhinav S. Pai of Standard 12 and Yadu Krishna Maharaj of Standard 10 secured the third prize in Bogo Park. In the virtual land RAM event, Vindication S and Abhiram Sevrakshmi Renju of Standard 11 secured the third prize. And in video editing and coding, Rohit K. Pradeep of Standard 12, P. Nitish and R. Ujjwal of Standard 10 also won the third question. Devika Nandakuma and Krishna Nair of Standard 11 secured the second prize in the Abhi Deya Military Mobile App Prototype Competition. In the Thai Young Entrepreneurs Competition, Aditya Ramakrishnan, Gita Krishan, Nathanwar, Shravan Vinod Menon, Yadu Krishnamara, Shraddha Lee Ajay, and Meghna Lee Arun of Standard 10 received the runner of award. Painting. Parvati PM of Standard 7 achieved the second prize in the poster making competition organized by the Lions Club International and also the first prize in the Lulu Painting Competition. Nandana Vadimshan of Standard 12 received the first prize in the Young Indian Muslim National Painting Competition in the secondary school category and first prize in the Pencil Drawing and Painting Competition in the April 2023. She, along with Sheetal Naveen, Adhya Nair, and Niti Manoj of Standard 11, achieved top honors in the World Poster Competition organized by the Excise Department aimed at creating awareness about graphic use. In the Fresco event, Nandana Vadimshan of Standard 12, Ritika Vidhi of Standard 6 received recognition.
she has best artists in stroke, acrylic painting and stroke, pencil drawing and shading respectively. Gaya Haika Ajay Standard 7 received the first prize in the drawing competition in the 26th Kochi International Book Festival. Gayatri Rubesh of Standard 10 secured the second prize in a category and Rubika Bhutan of Standard 7 won the second prize in a category in the district level painting competition in the Breakthrough Science at Nairobi Chapter. And Grace Rajiv Kaitas of Standard 9 achieved the first prize in nature photography. Yoga. In the district yoga asana sports championship, Tushara Haridas of Standard 4 who secured the third prize in the sub junior category and Geeta in of Standard 10 who claims the first prize in the junior category are selected for the state yoga asana championship. Mehta D. Prabhu and Adya Ali of Standard 7 won the third prize in the junior fair yoga dance. Mega D. Prabhu from the school champion title in the online state level yoga championship 2023. Adlin PA of Standard 4 received an honorable mention in the Yoga Challenge competition held in connection with International Yoga Day orchestrated by Gita. Pranita S of Standard 6 and Gita Kishan Nandana of Standard 10 achieved the third prize in the Artistic Fair Yoga Dance in the Ramakrishna Games Meet. Athletics. In the Nalanda Public English School Coco Championship, our understanding girls and girls exhibited exceptional agility and teamwork securing the championship. Elna Elizabeth Praveen of Standard 12 excelled in the second phase of India Women's Athletic League Foundation 2023, winning the first prize in the sister and second prize in the short for at MA College Parliamentary. At the Dr. Tony Daniel Memorial 67th Annual District Athletics Championship 2023, our students won many prizes. Elna Elizabeth Praveen, first prize under 18 girls in the and second prize in the short -term. Ahmed Sonak Manakat and Akshat Krishnavar of Standard 9 achieved the first prize in second position in the 116 bars and members race. Alisha and Shok Standard 8, first position under 14 girls, kids, jogging group and short put. Joseph Anthony A.S. of Standard 8, first position in the under 14 bars, short put. Akshay Shikrasar of Standard 8, second position in the under 14, 600 meter race. Akshat Krishnavar, second position in the under 16, 300 meter race. Adwai Ramavarma of Standard 11, third position in the under 18,500 meter race. Arjun Venugapa of Standard 8, third position in the under 14 bars long jump. In the under 14 bars, 400 meter relay, our school clinched the third position. In the under 16 medley relay, we got the first prize, and in the under 18 medley relay, boys, we achieved the third prize. A school attained the overall runners of trophy in the under 14 boys category. Nihal Hari B secured the run, runner up spot in the All Kerala Rajiv Badminton Tournament under 11 boys single. Third place in the under 11 boys doubles in the United States of Junior Rajiv Badminton Tournament. Third place in the under 11 boys singles and doubles in the United States Sub Junior Rajiv Badminton Tournament. He is also emerged as the American District Champion in the under 11 singles and doubles. Additionally, in the Kerala State Badminton Championship 2023 at PDD, he secured the second prize and under 11 doubles runner up title. Our school secured the overall first runner up trophy at the CBSC Cluster 11 Athletic Meet and Kochi Samodaya School Athletic Meet 2023. Ella is the training first prize in distress and short put. Alisha and Show received first prize in short put. Akshat Krishnavar, second prize in 400 meter race. Arjun Venugopal, second prize in long jump. Akshat Krishnavar, Jashin Pratul, Agni Sol, and Rohan Rao, second portion in 400 meter relay under 17. Akshay Shilkrasa, third prize in 100 meter race. A school's junior boys football team emerged as champions in the Anandam District Football Championship held at Government Girls High Secondary School at Nagra. Dev Jira was recognized as the best player and Atul S. Atul Jit S. was judged the best chaser. In the same championship, our junior girls team secured the championship title. Alfonso CCD was acknowledged the best chaser and the junior in the junior girls Coco team. In the Coco National Champions held at Uttar Pradesh, our school team won against Odisha 8-1-8 in the pool match. And in the Haryana Championship, our girls football team triumphed over Odisha and Gujarat in the four matches. NCC. We are proud to announce that the ninth batch of our senior division of NCC is functioning with the same vigor and enthusiasm. Our students participated in the all-win annual training 
And Mr. Shibhi Chakra, Faculty Department of Physical Education, Commissioner's Refresher Course at the Officers Training Academy, North Pole, Grade A. Library. Library at our school is a repository of knowledge which stores the energy to fuel the imagination. Our school library currently is home to more than 14,000 books, 17 magazines, and 5 newspapers that cater to the informational needs of our staff and students at both primary and secondary level. In addition to the class library and the reading corner, a new library has been officially opened in the primary section. The new initiative is this year. Along with the library in the primary top, a computer lab specifically designed for the primary students has also been inaugurated, aiming to enhance their technological skills. This year, we have introduced Kids Holidays as a part of the Edu Sports program for the students. Our school has introduced the Kerala Scouts and Guides program to this year. To further, to further innovations in education, various activities such as School Innovation Council, the SIC, School Integrated Program, the Young Entrepreneurs Program, YI College has been established, comprising educators, students, and experts from various industries. Resource Room and Counseling. The Resource Room is an initiative to guide students who need special care and attention. A well trained counselor and special educators help the students with their emotional, psychological and educational needs. Professional development programs. Our faculties attended subject specific capacity building programs by COE, CBSC. Apart from the sessions on value education, adolescent education, cyber safety and security, NEV 23, art integration, body art and canvas painting, dynamics of school education with reference to NEV, complaint on sports against drugs, pedagogical perspective on virtual labs, teachers and teaching program on leadership, mentoring and team building. Shrimati Parvati E. Principal was the source person for NEP 2020. 2020, Learning Outcomes and Pedagogies and English School. She will be in Grand Madras and also serve as a resource person for the Capacity Building Program on Cyber Safety and Security conducted by CUHCPC. She will be Prema and Faculty of Social Science as a resource person for Secondary Social Science. Events hosted by our school. Our school took pride in hosting several significant events showcasing our commitment to the holistic development and community engagement. A few notable once among them are Merit Evening Anarka Sangam celebrating the excellence of our SSE and SSE 2022 toppers, Udan Green School Innovation Challenge to Foster Creating and in Red Checkups for classes 1 to 12, a two day capacity building program on secondary math, multi sport fest for teachers to promote the camaraderie about staff, Sophia Beeman 2023, and Kerala CBC Cluster Level Football Championship 2020. We extended our support to the professional development of early teachers through a workshop organized by Fulmark Publications. Our school also conducted sessions on drones, robotics, and biomedical engineering for students of standard 6 to 9 in the Hutter Kingdom Lab. The first persons were from Adishandra College of Engineering and Technology Department. Cultural Outreach Program. Speak Metric Kerala and Halabari. Kala Bhargi, Bhargi Vyavana Kuchi Kendra jointly organized a lecture demonstration on Purniya Chau, a Bengali folk dance by Tara Hada Rajat and P in the Sardar Patel Open Auditorium. School Infrastructure A new football club in the Nehru Block has been constructed for the primary students. A ramp in the Gandhi Block and the school is also now equipped with two lifts. Additionally, laboratory facilities have undergone renovations and Specially designed toilets for children with special needs were also constructed. CBC initiatives. The school served as the exam center for the SSC and SSC 2023 examination. So recognizing our commitment in fostering relevant education and cultivating a skilled workforce, CBC has honored our school with the title of Skill Initiative School as a part of the Skill Hub Initiative. The school was the venue for multiple capacity building programs by CPAC and was also chosen to host the National Guidance Festival and Skill Expo 2024, 2024 for the Kalanam region. Future leaders of BDM Nehru through student empowerment programs. Student empowerment programs in the school, in school, to foster skills like critical thinking, communication, teamwork, decision making and contribution to the community has helped in building confidence and leadership skills in our children. 
A few of such in initiatives include yoga sessions for the students of RLP UP school on a monthly basis, storytelling sessions by the NDLI club members for classes UKG to standard 2, YI initiatives and membership programs and the activities initiated by the Student Innovation Council. Student Exchange Program As an integral component of the Students Cultural Exchange Program, a delegation consisting of 20 students and four teachers embarked on a journey to Bhavan's Vidyalaya Panchkula Haryana. This marks a renowned exchange initiative with a school in India. The, pro the program aims to facilitate a profound exploration of cultural dif differences and provide an opportunity for students to learn and appreciate various cultures and traditions. Newspaper and Education the Newspaper and Education program was implemented for students at standard 5 to 10 in collaboration with Yavindu and Times of India. At the launch of this initiative, Mr. Collector Sri Imesh NSK unveiled the students' edition of the Times of India by presenting the first copy to Rishani B. Karun of Standard 10 and Priyansh Nayak of Standard 9. Social Consciousness. As part of our outreach program, Sneha Sadhanam, our school sponsored 40 units of F6 dialysers and tubings for the marginalized dialysis patients at the General Hospital at Nantra. The Integrity Club involving students and staff donated rupees. 1,200 work provision kits to 10 local families. Contributions from standard 4 and 5 students provided provisions to Snayan Sadhana for age 4 and 3 program. The Parent Teacher Association. No school can work well for children if parents and teachers do not have in partnership on behalf of the children's best interests. PPAs function effectively under the able guidance of PPA President Shri Pinky Ramesh. We are much obliged to them for their relentless support and guidance in all our endeavors. Alumni. A school's greatness is often defined by the friendship and language forged within these words. The alumni meet convened on December 23. Saw the joyful reunion of its students planning various batches. Approximately 200 alumni members actively participated, fostering camaraderie in a friendly football match. In addition, a special felicitation ceremony was arranged to appreciate our alumni, Ms. Anagha P, who got the opportunity to address the audience at the Central Hall of the Parliament House on the life and legacies, legacy of Lal Bahadur Shastri during the birthday celebrations of Mahatma Gandhi and Lal Bahadur Shastri. I extend my gratitude to the Chairman, Director, Education and Research Wing as well as the other members of the management committee, SLC and PTA. Their prompt assistance and cooperation inspire us to elevate this institution to new heights. I want to acknowledge and appreciate the tireless efforts of our dedicated team, both teaching and non-teaching staff, for executing their duties with utmost, utmost dedication. Special words of gratitude go, go to all parents for entering us with the responsibility of shaping their children into responsible global citizens and thanks to all the stakeholders and beneficiaries. Let me conclude with this beautiful words. In navigating life, ambition it as a mountain to climb, where each day presents a new wisdom. While the summit remains the ultimate goal, new and beautiful scenes unfold at each new vantage point. I thank you all for being part of this transformative journey. Thank you once again. Thank you, ma'am. That was truly a memorable reflection on all the achievements, activities and milestones of Bhagans Vidyabhadar Edu during the academic year 2023-24. Before we proceed with the events, may I request our chief guest and all other dignitaries to occupy the seats on the stage.
It's my pleasure to invite our distinguished chief guest, Srimadhi Maya Menon, former principal of Cochin Five Years School Tiruvannu, to address the gathering. Ma'am, please. Namaste and good morning. I think after Indrani's annual report, the applause was very mild. We should give a loud applause for the school for the growth that we have seen and the achievements that was portrayed on the screen. Wonderful congratulations to the entire team. I start by paying my humble pronouns to former principal Menuka Ma'am, because of whom I am here today. My association with Vivian Nehru starts way back from 1995. I would like to thank Ambali for all the lovely things that she said about me. Out of my 25 years of service in the education sector, I think the longest has been with BVM Indian, 1995 to 2011. And I can proudly say that that has been the most enriching and empowering job that I did. Today, I am extremely humbled and honored to be standing here as the guest for the 35th annual day of BBMA KG and Kaiwan. Seeing the large crowd of parents and grandparents who have come here to witness a beautiful show by the children, let me speak a little bit about the home and school partnership. With a quote from Dorothy H. Cohen, no school can work well for children if parents and teachers do not act in partnership on behalf of the school children's best interests. And I'm sure it is going on very well here, looking at the way our children have achieved marvelous accomplishments in the past year. There is no doubt when teachers and students and parents work together, the children can reach the stars. Let me narrate a small story, a short story about how a little boy and his father went to a garden for an evening walk. The little boy saw a kite flying high in the sky. He asked his father, Father, look at that kite which is flying so high. But can't it fly higher if that person was not holding the string? The father wanted to make his son understand that there is the need for parental control or teacher's control in a child's life in his initial grooming stage. Without explaining much, the father said, let's see what happens if the string is left and the kite is allowed to soar higher. He went to the man who was holding the string to the kite, took it from him and left it. The little boy clapped his hands in joy, thinking that the kite would go higher now that it was not held in the hand of the person. Unfortunately, he was very sad to see the kite coming down and down and then falling to the ground. He looked at his father not knowing what happened. And his father explained, Son, for the kite to reach great heights, 
the string was essential to give it the stir that it needed. So dear parents and teachers, it's very important that we have a little bit of control on our children's movements. It says, we must not only educate a child's brain, but also his heart. In one school academic year, a child spends 7,800 hours at home and 900 hours at school. So, we must ask ourselves, who are the, who's having more time with the children? So, dear parents, it is very essential in this digital technology age that you spend quality time with your children. I request that at least one meal a day you all sit together and share the meal on the dining table. One more quote, a very, a very uh, quote that is very close to my heart and I, I used to tell it in all media meetings in my school. Don't educate your child to be rich, educate them to be happy so that they know the value of things and not the price. Yes, parents, in this age, it's very essential that we teach our children values. Values of respect, values of love, values of empathy. We have seen, or I have seen, in my 35 years of uh, my career, I've seen some parents becoming too indulgent with their children. Yes, we must, but not too much, for then our children take things for granted. Again, a story to narrate or to just hit this point is a boy saw a caterpillar struggling out of a cocoon waiting to come out as a butterfly. See the, the struggle that the caterpillar was taking to come out. The little boy ran in, brought a scissor and cut open the cocoon, thinking that he was making it easier for the caterpillar to come out. But what happened? What came out, the butterfly that came out, couldn't have strong wings. It just flapped them once or twice and it fell to the ground. What do we get from this, parents? We must make our children struggle to get, that is, don't give them everything whatever they ask. Let them understand the value of what you are giving them. It is rightly said that parental involvement and academic achievement are directly proportional. I'm sure the annual report of 2023-24 has proved that parental involvement and academic excellence go hand in hand. Give your children the roads to grow and the wings to fly. Be good your habits. Very often by others who travel to school, I would enjoy seeing parents at the bus stop with their children, waiting to get their children onto the bus. But what saddened me or what made me sad was to see the children were standing in one side, the parents were in their own world, busy on their mobiles, texting on their mobiles. I would say, use that time to bond with your child. Probably I'm at an age where I can, seeing the uh, experience that I have had with parents, with students. I'm sharing some of my tips which I'm sure could help you to raise your child in a better way. The time that you spend with your child at the bus stop, talk to him, share, let him share or let her share her experiences in school, be a part of it. Now to the children. The children in the audience, 
I request you to strive, strive, and strive for excellence, but in the true sportsman spirit. See every opportunity as a chance to learn and to grow. Do not equate success to high scores. Have faith in yourself and your abilities because everything may seem impossible until it is done. I am so proud of the school's achievements. I am sure I have. I, it was to share my feelings today to come here. It was just like a little child who is excited about his class picnic the next day. My association with the school, it's like a second home coming for me. When Parvati man asked me if I could come as a guest here, I grabbed the opportunity and I don't miss any opportunity to be here, to interact with the parents, with the students and I see many of my friends around, it makes my heart swell with pride. So here's wishing all of you a very, very happy day here. Enjoy your children performing on stage. And thank you to all my friends on the days, Manju, Ambri, Indrani, Jitita, Parvati, all the invited guests. Thank you for inviting me here. And I look forward to be associated with the school even more. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, ma'am, for your enlightening and inspiring words. Let me invite Srimadhi Sabita Jaya, Ward Council at Tripondra Municipality, to offer felicitations. Big man, but our chief guest, Principal Kotsindra Nayari, Principal Nadabi Nayari, ma'am. राज्यूणी एत्र प्रयत्न अच्छा 
ഈ ആനുവൽ ഡേയ്ക്ക് എല്ലാ വിധ ആശംസകളും നേരുന്നുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ നിർത്തുന്നു താങ്ക് യു മാം മേ ഐ നോ ഇൻവൈറ്റ് ഡോക്ടർ അഭിനയ ഐ എസ് പേരൻറ്റ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേറ്റീവ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് വൺ ടു ഓഫ് ഫെസിറ്റേഷൻ respected dignitaries teachers students and the parent community a warm welcome thank you to principal vice principal and the pta committee for giving me this opportunity today let me take this opportunity to salute the efforts of teachers in molding the students be it academics sports or arts wishing the best to all the winners of today let this annual day of celebrations be a day to remember a day to cherish and a day to inspire thank you thank you ma'am success comes from doing your best working hard learning from mistakes staying true and not giving up like every year our students have spread the fragrance of glory and fame now it's time to acknowledge and reward them I invite Shivani Pridhira Chandra, Faculty Department of Biology, to take over the proceedings. Awards and achievements are not just the symbols of recognition, but also the fuel that keeps us motivated to go further and do better. Namaste and greetings to all. Today marks an exuberant moment as we find ourselves on the cusp of a significant event, annual award ceremony. It is a momentous occasion as we have come together to recognize and applaud the unique talents, hard work and accomplishments of our primary students, showcasing the extraordinary growth and achievements within our vibrant school community. May I now invite the chief guest of the day Shri Madhi Mala B Menon to give away the prizes to our young achievers madam please The prize instituted by Shri Madhi Laila Jacob for the child possessing leadership qualities goes to Kritya K Pradeep of 5A instituted by the PTA for the year 2023-24 Gabriela Jor of Five A receives a prize for excellent communication skills in English The prize for talent in music goes to Ambika R of 4B Deksha Maheshwar of 5D For talent in instrumental music the prize is shared by Akshita P Sujit of 5A in keyboard and Sriveni S Nayak of 5A in combo drum Nihal Hari of 5C receives the prize for his exemplary achievement in sports. Next we have Dhrubat D of 5B receiving the prize for his skill in art and craft. Talent award in growing goes to K. Akshada of 4D. Tushara Haridas of 4D has been awarded the prize for exemplary performance in yoga. Harshika SD of 4B receives the prize for proficiency in Sanskrit. Dear audience, please share our prize winners.
Now moving on to the prize instituted by the PTA for the all-rounders of the year 2023-24 for classes 1 to 5. From standard 1, we have Mega Avilash of 1D. Standard 2, Kirtana Jai Krishan of 2A. Standard 3, we have Alangrita Menon of 3A. Standard 4, Edwin PA of 4D. Standard 5, we have Isha VK of 5A. Thank you, Madam. Now we have the sports prizes. First, we have the class wise individual champions forging ahead on the path towards success. Let me now invite our principal Srimadhi Parvati E to give away the prizes. Madam, please. Standard 1, boys, be shared by Arish Enai of 1C, Nyanam House, Gautam Karti M of 1C, Adimsa House, Ahan Devansh Subir of 1A, Shandi House. Standard 1 girls, we have Sena Anu Bhattasheri of 1D from Satyam House. Standard 2 boys, Ashen Ashwin of 2C Dharma House. Standard 2 girls, Samaja MA of 2D from Satyam House. Standard 3 boys, Joan Vargis Jomon of 3D Adinsa House. Standard 3 girls, Alangrita Menon, 3A of Satyam House. Standard 4 boys, Surya Narayanan S, 4D of Yagam House. Standard 4 girls, Sita Manoj Menon of Adinsa House, from 4A. Standard 5 boys, Jude Sebastian of 5D, Adinsa House. Standard 5 girls, it is shared by Niranjana R, 5C, Sevenam House and Kritika BS, 5D, Dharma House. Let's give them a loud round of applause. The following students have won the group wise championship. Standard 1 and 2 boys, Ashton Ashwin of 2C, Dharma House. Standard 1 and 2 girls, Samaja MA, 2D of Satyam House. Standard 3 and 4 boys, Suryanayan S, 4D of Yaga House. Standard 3 and 4 girls, we have Tirta Manoj Menon, 4A Adinsa House. Thank you, Madam. With this, we have come to the conclusion of prize giving ceremony of the primary section. Dear children, never limit yourself with your limitations. Instead, break the boundaries and move ahead. Congratulations to all the prize winners. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Vigilanis, and congratulations to all the prize winners. May I now request our principal Parvati ma'am to present a gift to our chief guest as a token of our gratitude and appreciation. Let me invite Kumari Vidya K. Pradeep, student representative standard 5, to propose the word of thanks. Thankfulness is simple but important idea. It's a strong quality that goes beyond being polite. 
and makes our lives better. It is a heartfelt recognition of the kindness, support and abundance that surrounds us. Namaste, respected chief guests, other dignitaries, parents, teachers and dear students. I deem it my privilege as the head girl of the primary section of Bhavans Vidya Mandir Eru to stand before you with a heart full of gratitude and appreciation to propose the vote of thanks on the special occasion of our annual day. Before I proceed further, I would like to take a moment to bow my head in gratitude to the Almighty for showering us with His blessings on all days and particularly on this special occasion. It is both an honor and a privilege to express our deepest gratitude to our esteemed Chief Guest, Srimati Mala P. Neno. Mala Man, we are profoundly thankful for your gracious presence. Your wisdom, experience and inspiring words have left an indelible mark on all of us. May this token of our gratitude convey our sincere appreciation for your invaluable presence on our annual day. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Dear Pagavi ma'am, I extend my sincere gratitude to you for your unwavering support and guidance in all activities we undertake. Your leadership has been a beacon inspiring all of us to strive for excellence. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to Srimati Sapita Jai, Ward Counselor, for her gracious presence and the heartfelt self-felicitation -felic you offer during our annual day celebration. Thank you, ma'am. A big thank you to our dear Vice Principal Indrani Man and Assistant Vice Principal Jijita Man for their tireless efforts in orchestrating various aspects of our annual day. Thank you, Man. <laughs> On behalf of the entire school, I extend my heartfelt thanks to Manju Man, Head of Kindergarten. Ma'am, the commitment, exceptional leadership and the positive impact you have on our tiny talks and the kindergarten session is truly appreciated. Thank you, ma'am. My sincere gratitude goes to Dr. Abhinaya S, parent representative of Standard 1, for her heartfelt felicitation during our annual day celebration. Your words resonated with warmth and inspiration, adding a special touch to the event. Thank you, ma'am. A word of appreciation to our dear primary school coordinator, Ms. Ambebe. Ambemus, your warmth, vision for our primary day and the trust that you have in our capabilities has ensured the remarkable success of this event. Thank you for your inspiring leadership, creativity and the countless hours you devoted to make this event memorable. Thank you, Miss. A heartfelt acknowledgement goes to our dedicated teachers and the entire organizing committee. Your efforts have transformed our vision into vital reality, making this day truly unforgettable. Special gratitude to our sponsors and partners for their generous support which has played a pivotal role in making this event possible. Your commitment to our cause is truly appreciated. Let us not forget the unsung heroes behind the scenes, the technical crew, volunteers, non-teaching staff and everyone who worked tirelessly to ensure the smooth execution of each segment. Let me place on record our sincere gratitude to our dear parents for all the support and the trust you have shown in our institution. Dear friends, you are the heartbeat of our institution and your performances are going to showcase not just your skills but your passion and commitment. Your dedication makes this annual day an extraordinary celebration of talent and creativity. In conclusion, let's carry the spirit of gratitude beyond this morning. May the strength bonds strengthen and memories create 
can be a source of inspiration for many days ahead. Thank you for being part of this beautiful journey and we eagerly anticipate many milestones together. Wishing everyone a wonderful morning and looking forward to the continued success of our community. Thank you. Thank you, Vidya. At Bhavan Sidhyama Yogayo, our dedication persists in shaping young minds into harmonious individuals, exuding confidence and enthusiasm that aligns with the standards of our institution. Our endeavor is to cultivate a society grounded in knowledge, characterized by clear thinking and compassionate thoughts, devoted to serving humanity with unwavering integrity. Today, we gaze ahead with a spirit of optimism, anticipating significant growth and progress on our journey. With this, we conclude the further function of the 35th annual day celebration of kindergarten and primary section of Bhavan Sridhya Mandir Eru. It's time to kick off the festivities and unveil the vibrant performances by the stars of the day. Around 460 students of kindergarten and the primary section are here to showcase their talents. I request the dignitaries on the days to kindly take the seats in front of the stage. Thank you. I invite Janvi Nelakande and Pridya Pradi to take over.
music is the divine way to tell beautiful, poetic things to the heart. It is the divine way of healing a wounded soul. Let's begin our program with a song by Ambika R of Standard School.
who sacrificed their lives for our country's freedom. Let's observe a minute silence as a mark of respect to these great souls. I request everyone to kindly rise for the scene. Thank you. Namaste and a warm good morning to all of you present here. The beauty of green is like a symphony from the sky. It comes down from the heavens, blessing us all with the bountiful gift of water, heralded as a blessing in the cultures around the world. Rain is the music of nature that shows no distinction among the people on this beautiful planet, showering the rich and the poor, the old and the young, the good and even the wicked. Our little white plots of UKG literature together, dancing beautifully in unity to show you the magic of rains, symbolizing the arrival of creation, life, spring itself and honor the importance of this precious resource, without which life on this beautiful planet will never exist. And why our rainy drops go out to have the group that goes out to have the sea. Let's sit back, relax and witness this grand spectacle. Dear audience, we look forward to all of your support and encouragement. Thank you.
Hello, blues to the best. My friends are here to show you the power of blue.
special. The Yes Canvas becomes beautiful when you all are there. Yes, look around you. Rainbow, flowers, butterflies, nature itself is beautiful because of all you colors. Color is a magical thing. Mother Nature's palette is the most magical. The bright yellow, the soothing blue, the fierce orange, lovely red, peaceful white and the wonderful green depict what life should be like. Your diversity is what makes you special, isn't it?
I understand that some of you may not be inclined towards sports. But do you know, sports play a crucial role in our overall development, both physically and mentally. They help us stay fit, build endurance and boost our immune system. Look, there are numerous sports out there, ranging from badminton, table tennis, cricket. Go and have a look at it. I encourage all of you to explore these opportunities and see if anything catches your attention.
How was your day children? Mess, we really enjoyed the day. Next time, we will definitely take part in one or the other.
മഹാന്മാരായ വേർപിരിഞ്ഞ് പല ഭാഷകളിലും വേഷങ്ങളിലും വർണ്ണങ്ങളിലും കാണപ്പെടുന്ന മനുഷ്യർ വസിക്കുന്നത് ഒരേ ഒരു ഭൂമി അവിടെ ഉദ്ധിക്കുന്നതും അസ്തമിക്കുന്നതും ഒരേ ഒരു സൂര്യൻ സ്വർഗത്തിലും ഇങ്ങനെ തന്നെയാവും മൂന്നാം ക്ലാസ് വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾ അവതരിപ്പിക്കുന്ന ദിസ്വർഗ സംഘം അത്തരമൊരു അന്വേഷണമാണ് ഈ സർഗവേദിയിലേക്ക് ഏവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം
എത്ര ലളിതമാണിത് ദേവിയുടെ വിഷവും വളരെ നന്നായിട്ടുണ്ട്
ചെടുത്ത് സ്വയങ്ങളാക്കി രാഗി മിനുക്കി ശുദ്ധ സംഗീതമായി മഹാരഥന്മാർ രൂപപ്പെടുത്തി സംഗീതത്തിന്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനം കൊയ്ത്തുപാട്ടുകളിലൂടെ രൂപം തിരിഞ്ഞ് കർണാടക സംഗീതത്തിലേക്ക് എത്തിച്ചേർന്നു കർണാടക സംഗീതവും പാശ്ചാത്യ സംഗീതവും ക്ഷേത്രകലയായ കേരളത്തിന്റെ അഭിമാന കലയായ മഹോദരങ്ങളിൽ സ്ഥാനം പിടിച്ച കഥകളി സംഗീതവും അതിനോട് ചേർന്ന് പച്ചയായി മനുഷ്യന്റെ കഥ പറയുന്ന നാടൻ പാട്ടുകൾ കോർത്തിണക്കിയ സംഗീത വിരുന്നിലേക്ക് ഏവരുടെയും കാതുകളുടെ ശ്രദ്ധ ആകർഷിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് സമന്വയ സംഗീത ധ്വനിയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം
your attention please devika from 3c and daksha from ukg are requested to report at the back stage immediately devika from 3c and daksha from ukg are required are requested to report at the back stage immediately
attributions, connecting the human spirit to the universal language of movement and music. Here, we present before you the captivating fusion of traditional Asian dances of Egypt, Arabia and Afghanistan that brings together a blend of cultural heritage. Let us sit back and enjoy.
Jai Ram 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 Ram